Good morning, it is half past seven on a Sunday morning. I'm on my way to get a coach to London, Megabus to London again, so I've got another seven hour journey down there. When I get to London, I will be meeting Roger. Then we will be spending the night in Dan's house. Dan is Roger's friend who lives in London. And this is the plan. Early tomorrow morning, we get a flight from Gatwick to Barcelona. We spend the day in Barcelona, like 12 hours. Then we go back to the airport after we've seen as much as possible there and get a flight to Crete. There we'll spend one night in Heraklion, which is where the airport is, and then look around the city the, the day after. Then we get a bus to Malia. Now Malia is a town to which I have never been, but is popular because it is a, a common holiday destination for students going on typical lads holidays. I found that like everyone my age in this country knows what Malia is, knows where it is. Um, but all the people and people from other countries are just not aware of it. It's very common for groups of students when they finish their A-levels to go on holiday together. And they go to places like Ibiza, Magaluf, Ayanapa, Zanti, which is where I went three years ago after I finished my A-levels with my friends on our lads holiday. And Malia. So it will probably be full of drunk 18 year olds. But we've got a hotel that's a little bit away from the strip. Looks like a nice place otherwise but then five minute walk and we've got this crazy nightlife if we want it. So we've got seven nights there. Then we go back to Heraklion, fly to Athens, spend the day in Athens, we've got about 12 hours there. Then we fly back to London, two more nights in London, then I go home. But first I need to hurry up and catch this bus. I've just realized I've forgotten my earphones and I've got seven and a half hours on a bus. Oh my God, I don't have time to go back. I've actually had to run to make this pass. <laughs> Great start. Mega buses are always too hot, but I have made it. I'm in London. Now I need to find Roger. There he is. I'm going to buy this compact towel. Um, I think it's designed for camping, but it'll do for going on holiday. And oh, those are fabulous. <laughs> I think they'd suit you. I'm going to buy some earphones as well since I forgot mine. I'm gutted that I have to use really cheap earphones instead of my proper ones. There's a bridge. We're nearly at Dan's house. This has been quite a long walk though. Really tired. Which is probably good because we should go to bed really early tonight to get up at like five o'clock to be able to catch our flight. Good morning, it is 5.35, we're up, we're ready for our holiday, and we've got a train to catch in about nine minutes, and we're a bit late, we were meant to leave like ten minutes ago, but we get an overground train, then a tram, then a national rail train I think, is that the plan? And that gets us to Gatwick for just before seven o'clock, or oh, yeah, and then we've got a plane a few hours later. Oh. It's quite cold. Excited or too tired to care? Tired. <laughs> We're now in West Croydon, waiting for a tram. I've never seen trams in London before. I didn't even know London had trams until a few months ago. Not particularly impressed by West Croydon so far. And we've made it to Gatwick Airport. I don't think I've been here before. All we have for the week are these bags. Uh, we don't have like big cases. We've got breakfast, coffee, and it's not actually long until our flight now. 
Ready for our day in Barcelona? Yeah. Barcelona in 12 hours. What's your favorite color? Why does summer make you sad? Do you crave the snow? Where did you get your favorite pair of shoes? Oh, I want to know All the things that make you sing and tap your little toes Oh, oh I want to know Did you cry when your father said goodbye? Did he leave a note? Do you scream when you wake up from a dream? Oh, I wanna know I wanna hear between your ears and swim inside your brain Oh, oh, oh I Okay, 12 hours in Barcelona. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's really hot here. Right, we should put sun cream on before we burn to death. So Roger has been here before, so he has shown me around and he's taken me up the steepest hill I've ever seen <laughs> in unbearable heat. But there is an escalator. Thank God they've got an escalator to do this bit. Burning our feet, even with shoes on. We got to the top. So we got to the top of the hill, we're at the park. Thing, whatever this is, you have to pay to get in, um, but they let people in at particular times. And the next like session is four o'clock, which is in two hours' time. And since we only have 12 hours in the city, we're not going to waste two hours queuing. So we're just going to walk in, see how far we can get without a ticket. Um, we've had dinner, even though it's a bit early, so we like one big meal of the day. It is still so hot out here. It's like 35 degrees today, and we've got like six kilograms on our backs. Nearly hit that guy in the face. There's so many squares in between these tiny narrow streets that all look the same. It's really confusing. The buildings are all lovely around here, around these streets. It's 
like a mini bridge of size. We have a selfie stick. <laughs> Right, we're going to try to get into here, but only if it's free, because this is 12 hours in Barcelona on a budget. Seven euros to go in. Probably not worth it. Cathedral done, we are moving on to the Arc de Triomphe, or however you pronounce it in Spanish. I didn't know there was one in Barcelona, but apparently there is. 16 minute walk there. I am unbelievably tired. I can't believe how long this 12 hours feels like. It's lasting forever. We're getting around the whole of Barcelona. This water is lovely because I am so hot. But here is the Arc de Triomphe thing. Looking fabulous. I'm doing a time lapse. I left Roger over there eating crisps. I'm sitting in the middle of this street burning. Even the ground is so hot. Our sightseeing for the day is done. We're gonna get some drinks for the last couple of hours before we get a train back to the airport to catch our flight to Crete. Look at how busy this is. It's so tempting to go into the water. Oh, maybe you can just get sprayed by that one. Look at the in here, the wind blows all the water up here. Barcelona is very big and it's really hard to find anything that you want. Like we don't know specifically what we're looking for, we just want a bar or a cafe or something that'll outside. have alcoholic drinks with seats outside. We've been walking for ages. We're getting further and further away from the train station, um, which we need to get back to to go back to the airport and we haven't found anything yet. Found a bar, I got a beer, Roger just got vodka and coke. And you'd think this was like water, lemonade or something, that is all vodka. <laughs> like half a glass of vodka and a little thing of coke. That's gonna be so strong. <laughs> well, Roger is mortal from his half a glass of vodka. Now he wants to take me to a different place because he's not happy with where we're sitting. It's too noisy. We did have the option of choosing a shorter layover. Um, we could have even flown direct, but I think this was a very good choice. These places don't have the best Should selection of drinks. So this great deal here, you're gonna get half a litre of sangria for 550, or you can get twice as much and pay 14 euros. Yeah, I like it. I don't think you'll like it much. It's quite red whiny. Oh my god, no, it's like mold wine. We just come out of that place we were sitting in and like one place away, if we walked a little bit further, we would have found a better place that had what I wanted. But I got what I wanted anyway. Yeah, he's happy and he's drunk. Half a litre of vodka and sangria later, we are on our way to McDonald's, I think, because Roger wants chips. And then we're going back to the airport. The subway system in Barcelona is like a sauna, but the actual trains are air conditioned, which is lovely. Overall, it's fabulous. It's really useful. And buy a T10 ticket, it gives you 10 journeys and you can use one between multiple people, me and Roger just shared it all day. And we've used all 10 journeys, it's been great, it was only 10 euros. One euro per journey. 
The ticket works on buses and whatever other forms of transport they've got here as well, not just the, the metro system. We've got a bus, the number 46, from the airport and we're getting the train um, back to the airport. We keep getting lost. It got us back to the airport. I think we're in the wrong terminal, but we'll get to the other one now. And we're back in the airport just in time for our flight, hopefully. But that is 12 hours in Barcelona, and that is how to successfully spend a layover. I'll see you in the next video where we continue our journey to Crete. Thanks for watching.